Hi guys, so it's Shannon here, and I am bringing you Fab Fit Fun. All right, now the Fab Fit Fun box is about fifty dollars, and it is a quarterly box. So instead of getting it monthly, you would only get it seasonally, kind of like what I usually get with the Walmart box, where they pretty much just send you something per season. So this is fifty dollars and their selling point is that they cram in about over two hundred dollars worth of products into these boxes so honestly it is a decent sized box so you can totally tell that it's not my usual um i will have to admit this is that this is about the second time i've tried to do this video because my recording format was off to where i couldn't take and i couldn't edit my videos so i'm going through this and i'm doing it again some of the stuff's unwrapped, but I'm going to make sure I present to you the items that were put into the FabFit box. So, right from the get-go, you got a coupon right here that is going to give you $10 off of your first box if uh, you want a referral credit or if you want to go into it. So. Everybody that signs up for the FabFit box, I will get a $15 credit towards my next following box. So, anybody who is actually interested in getting this coupon, you will get $10 off your first box. So, and then if you want to take them for your friend and so on and so forth. So, all these products are 70 to 80% off of what you're actually paying for them. So, of what you're actually paying for them. So, honestly, what I went through with the box, totally worth it. A lot of these products are really nice products. So, whoever takes and whoever decides to send me a message first and request for this coupon, this coupon can be yours for no extra cost. So, with this, you have the option of taking and upgrading your membership and paying a little bit more if you want, and then you would get to pretty much almost choose everything that would go in your box. So, I think I only got to pick maybe uh, an item or two that would be my choice of what I want to get. So, I will go into that and I will say what I decide to choose because in column 1 or column A, let's call it column A, I had uh, one choice that I could have picked from through there, which would have been a clutch or it would have been bath bombs. And honestly, I have so many makeup bags and I really have no use for a clutch because I've got a big huge mom handbag that pretty much my kids just throw everything into. So I decided to go with the bath bombs. It's a little bit bright. I decided to go with the bath bombs and the bath bomb fragrances are red rose, grape and mandarin, french uh, lavender, and fig and white peach. And honestly, they smell wonderful I cannot wait to use them and the nice part is is that each individual bath bomb is wrapped now if you are somebody that's dealt with bath bombs before you know that if you go to like five below or you go to a couple different places that usually the bath bombs when they're stuck in with other bath bombs they kind of all absorb the same scent but with these bath bombs you can smell there is a very 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 distinct difference between each of these scents so I am looking forward to it uh, we have a wellness which is your fig and white peach you have your good vibes which is your red rose oh, that smells really good um, you have your keep calm which of course is your lavender and then you have energize which is the grapefruit and mandarin so how I described it before is that this, this reminds me of basically my childhood, mainly because my mom, when I was a kid, she used to take and she used to make silk flower arrangements, and I loved the way they smelled because she would use essential oil on them, and they would just, it would smell wonderful, and I love, I love the smell of this. So this right here, just this is a $16 value, so that's nice, and that is what I picked for column A. Now another thing that they sent me from column A was the Tarte eyeshadow palette. This is called the Double Duty 
Beauty Leave Your Mark eyeshadow palette. Alright, now if you're familiar with going to beauty shops or going to Ulta or Sephora, you know that usually Tarte is kind of up there in price. It can range anywhere from between $20 to $30 for their product. And this is the palette that they sent me. Honestly, this is more of a spot on palette than what I imagined they would send me. Because most times I get like these really wild, vivid colors, like a bright blue or a hot pink or a weird lime green color. So, and the problem is, is that I've got hooded eyes. So you really can't take and you really can't see my eyelid very well. So I've got to actually go in with a mat and actually cut where it looked like I would have a grease to make it look like my eyes aren't so hooded. But these colors, these colors are colors that I would use because my eyes are a hazel green color and, uh, or hazel brown. And usually I have to use the darker colors, you know, just from my complexion and everything. So I'm actually looking forward to trying that. This is something that I would have bought, honestly, because to tell you the truth, I love Tarte products. I have like Tarte concealers, I've got their eyeshadow palettes, I've got a couple different things from Tarte. So I really like the Tarte products. This is a great product and this retails for $30. So yeah, and that is a really, yeah, I'm really excited about that. To me, that would have pretty much covered what I would have initially paid for the box, honestly, but because I was just happy with that. But you know, yeah, it would have been twenty dollars over, but whatever. Um, the next one, which is from column B, happens to be a tote, and I get did get to pick out the uh, tote or the color of the tote because they gave me an option of whether I wanted blue and white or if I wanted black and white. So of course I decided to get the black and white palette or the black and white palette. Of course I said get the black and white bag and this is a nice little bag honestly. This is decent size if you can see it. So I can definitely see me like throwing the kids clothes in here and maybe a lunch or whatever. Or, I mean this is a decent size. This is a really nice bag and this bag retails for $54. So that's actually really cool. And that would complete um, column B. So because the other choices were a tardiest lip gloss, which I didn't really get. Um, and then I didn't have a choice really. They only gave me a choice of colors for my bag. And then the next one would have been my tag along hot cold box or a hot cold packs. So I'm good with what I got. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, then we're going into column C. So the next product is Kate Somerville Exfoliate Kate Intensive Exfoliating Serum. Now this, this is the full size and it retails for $75. Um, this has papaya, pumpkin, and pineapple enzymes to make a perfectly polished uh, look in two minutes. This cult favorite product uses both physical and chemical exfoliation to improve your uh, skin texture pores while brightening and reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So, I, I mean, I haven't used it, but it smells great. So I'm looking forward to using this because I could definitely do something about my pores and, you know, can't lie, starting to get a little bit of laugh lines around my eyes because I'm on the wrong side of 25. So, yeah, this product retails for $75. So right here with just this one product, you pretty much pay for what this box was worth. So if you're somebody that likes top of the line skincare products, there you go. So that's pretty nice. All right. So the next product, which I thought was really super cute when I seen it, I can't lie, is a homemade by Aisha Curry. It is a I would rather be in bed mug. So I mean, it's really cute. I love coffee. It's a decent sized mug as you can see. So, and it's handmade. There's no sticker on this. 
So everything's handmade and painted. So this is really cute. I like this a lot. And this retails for $16. So, I mean, it's got to be mass produced, I'm assuming, because I don't think everything would be handmade. But, I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. All right. I don't know if that's going to close. I'm going to break my handmade mug in a minute. Hope not. I like it. All right. So there was something else in column C. It was a lavender French or French lavender uh, exfoliating buff buffer, and it was originally retailing at sixteen dollars, but that that wasn't what's sent to me. Um, in column D. Okay. In column. D. My uh, other one that I got, which was, okay, sorry, choice four. My choice four, I didn't choose it, it was kind of chosen for me, is a daily concept hair tail wrap. This retails for $18. I really don't see the point in opening it up and showing you because I'm pretty sure everybody knows how these work. So I've gotten that. This retails for $18. So it's supposed to be a super soft, you know, hair towel. So that's decent. I don't know. I'm not very enthusiastic about hair towels. So the next product, which I do plan on using in the future, is a somehow vegan leather eye mask. Now, last time I checked, I don't know how they make leather vegan. But, I don't know, so I'm going to assume it's probably pleather. And it, this is Free People Understated Leather. It is a starry eye travel mask, and it is either mint or green. And I think this is the gray. Sorry, mint or gray. So I'm going to assume, I don't know, that might be the mint. I don't know. It kind of looks a greenish gray, so... I don't think it really matters, but it's cute. It's got little stars on it, and it's got an ice pack inside, which, yeah, I could definitely foresee me using something along the lines of this, just because it's really nice. And, you know, yeah, so I don't have to see people then. Never really used an eye mask, but I can start. It's lovely. So next product which is last but not least is a brio geo don't despair repair oh sorry this thing right here this is forty dollars so that retails for forty dollars um this brio geo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask uh this is hair conditioner if you can't already figure that part out um give yourself a break from dry damaged trusses uh, it's a unique uh, B vitamins, rosehip, argan oil, and biotin to restore essential hydration and natural vibrancy to lackluster hair. Uh, this product retails for thirty dollars. Um, don't think I smelled this one. Nope, I didn't. I still got the seal on it. All that smells really good. That smells ridiculously good. I am looking forward to trying that. So I'm assuming that you put it on and leave it on for a couple minutes and then you just rinse it out. I don't know. There was another hair thing that I had gotten. You're supposed to leave this in for 10 minutes. Cover the hair in plastic to retain moisture while sitting under the dryer for 20 minutes, then rinse. Huh. Why would you sit under a dryer though? And then you have to rinse. So I guess that's so your hair will absorb everything. But anyway, so that is it for the Fab Fit box. All right. So there's a lot of products in here. I know this video ran a little bit longer than what most of my videos run. Um, but this is this retail value for what I just went over is anywhere between 276 to 296. So got a lot of products. I think it's really cool. Hope this kind of gives you guys some insight of what you would take and think about getting the FabFit box. Like I said, whoever wants the coupon, just 
let me know, send me a message, and I will get back to you. Bye, guys!